essentially what happened before the Big Bang. Right? You, you have to be careful with the language. So if you define the Big Bang really carefully as the time when the universe was very hot and very dense, and as I said, you, you can't argue with that because we can see it, <laughs> because we can look out into the sky. Our best theory of how the universe got into that state is that there was a time before that, and it's called inflation. For centuries, humans have looked up at the night sky and wondered where did it all begin. Scientists tell us the universe started with the Big Bang, a colossal explosion of energy that gave birth to space, time, and everything we know. But what if that wasn't the beginning? What if there was something before the Big Bang? And what if that something was far more terrifying than we could ever imagine? The beginning of the universe. Our minds often jump straight to the Big Bang. That colossal explosion from a singularity that supposedly marked the start of everything. Space, time, matter, and energy. But what if that moment wasn't the beginning at all? What if instead it was a transition, a boundary between what was and what is? Brian Cox. The renowned physicist known for blending poetic wonder with rigorous science has spoken on this chilling idea that the universe may have emerged from something far more disturbing than nothingness. Something ancient, something eternal, and possibly something terrifying. To understand what Brian Cox suggests, we need to first understand what the Big Bang actually is and what it isn't. Contrary to popular belief, the Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space. It was an expansion of space itself. Every point in the universe was compressed into an unfathomably small, hot, and dense state. Then, in a fraction of a second, it expanded. But here's the twist. The Big Bang doesn't describe the origin of the universe. It describes the evolution of the universe from a hot, dense state. That means the beginning is still a mystery, a blank spot. And that's where things get eerie. Brian Cox often emphasizes that the Big Bang might not be the absolute beginning. Instead, it may be a horizon beyond which we cannot see. But if we dare to speculate, guided by physics rather than fantasy, some unsettling possibilities emerge. One of them is the concept of a cyclic universe, a cosmos that didn't begin with the Big Bang, but has been expanding and contracting in endless cycles of birth and death, a sort of cosmic heartbeat. That would mean our universe could be just the latest version in a potentially infinite sequence, each one crushing down into a singularity only to explode outward again. Now here's where it gets unsettling. In this model, the conditions before the Big Bang were not empty. They were filled with a decaying, collapsing universe, a ghostly mirror of our own. And if that's the case, everything we are, everything we experience, might be an echo of something that already happened, perhaps countless times before. The laws of physics could be recycled. The constants of nature might remain fixed, but the details, the stars, the galaxies, the civilizations, could be different every time. Or disturbingly, they might repeat in an eerie similarity. But there's another possibility. Brian Cox has referenced the idea of the multiverse, the notion that our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam of universes. In some versions of this theory, particularly those linked to eternal inflation, Universes are constantly being born in a sea of quantum chaos. That means the Big Bang was not the beginning of everything, just the beginning of our universe's local chapter. Before it, a roaring, eternal inflation field birthing infinite universes, each with their own laws and constants. And what's terrifying about that? It's the realization that there may be no ultimate origin, no singular cause, just an endless fractal of universes spinning off each other forever. In such a reality, meaning itself becomes elusive. Our universe, our lives, might be nothing more than a flicker in a chaotic quantum storm, a cosmic accident with no purpose, no direction, and no end. Even more disturbing are the quantum gravity models that suggest time itself may be emergent. That is, time as we understand it didn't exist before the Big Bang. In fact, before might be a meaningless concept. Brian Cox often highlights this strange consequence. If time is a property that began with the Big Bang, then there is no before. Just like there's no place north of the North Pole. There might be no time prior to the Big Bang. But if that's true, where did the Big Bang come from? How did it happen without time to allow it? One idea comes from loop quantum cosmology, a theory that attempts to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity. In this framework, 
the universe doesn't emerge from a singularity. Instead, it undergoes a bounce. Before the Big Bang, there was a contracting universe which compressed down to the smallest possible volume, never reaching infinite density, and then rebounded into expansion. The implication is that the Big Bang was not a beginning but a transition point between contraction and expansion. If true, then we must ask, what was that prior universe like? Was it similar to ours? Was it filled with stars, galaxies, and life? Or was it cold, dark, and collapsing? A dying cosmos falling into itself? And here lies the truly haunting possibility. If the laws of physics remain constant across cycles, and if quantum information is never truly destroyed, then echoes of previous universes might be imprinted in our own. Subtle clues buried in the cosmic microwave background radiation, patterns that shouldn't be there, maybe even scars from collisions with other universes. In fact, some physicists have claimed to detect circular anomalies in the background radiation, spots where the smoothness of the cosmos is broken. Could these be bruises from a previous existence? The notion that we live in a universe that has died and been reborn countless times isn't just unsettling, it's humbling. It means that our cosmic story might be one of recurrence rather than creation, a play endlessly reperformed on a stage that never changes. Brian Cox has remarked that this cyclical model forces us to confront the ultimate insignificance of beginnings and endings. What matters is not when the universe started, but why it behaves the way it does now, and perhaps what comes next. But let's go deeper. What if the pre Big Bang state was something even more alien? Some physicists, inspired by string theory and M theory, suggest that our universe could have been created from the collision of higher dimensional objects called brains. In this scenario, our entire universe exists on a three-dimensional membrane floating in a higher dimensional space. Occasionally, two brains collide, releasing massive amounts of energy and causing a new universe to be born. The Big Bang in this model is just the moment of impact. Before that, two vast sheets of reality drifted in an eternal void. Their convergence wasn't random, it was inevitable. And terrifyingly, it might happen again. Then there's the possibility that before the Big Bang, the universe existed in a radically different form. Some physicists have proposed a pre-geometric phase, a state where space and time as we understand them didn't exist. Instead, what existed was pure information, a tangled network of quantum relationships without direction, distance, or duration. No past, no future, no space to move through, and no time to mark movement. It's not that there was something before the Big Bang in the traditional sense. It's that the Big Bang was a transformation, a cosmic phase change. Just as water freezes into ice under the right conditions, space and time may have crystallized out of something more fundamental. This line of thinking suggests that the Big Bang wasn't the start of matter, but the beginning of structure, an emergent phenomenon, like patterns forming on a frosted window. But if time and space can emerge, then the idea of a before becomes meaningless. Yet it leaves one unavoidable conclusion. Something must have existed. Something outside our notions of beginnings and endings. Perhaps it was a timeless mathematical system, a sea of probabilities, a strange silent framework waiting for complexity to ignite. This is where things become not just strange, but deeply unsettling. If the fundamental layer of reality isn't physical, but mathematical, pure logic and code, then what we experience as real may just be an illusion arising from patterns and information. We're not living in a solid universe of substance, but in a delicate, ever-evolving arrangement of values. And those patterns don't care about meaning, purpose, or direction. They simply follow rules. That's the terror, not destruction or chaos, but indifference. A reality that doesn't need to care because it wasn't made to care. Brian Cox often points out that our understanding of the cosmos is limited by our senses, by our perception, by the short lifespans of human thought. We interpret reality through the narrow lens of survival and experience, not through the cold, vast mechanics of the cosmos. The universe is not required to conform to our intuition. In fact, it often defies it. Our minds crave origin stories, neat beginnings, and satisfying ends. But the universe may offer none of that. Instead, it may offer only endless transformation, a rolling wave of becoming, with no true start 
and no final finish. This is the profound and terrifying message hidden behind Brian Cox's quiet warnings, that what lies before the Big Bang is not just unknown, it may be unknowable. Not because we haven't yet discovered the answer, but because our universe might be the wrong tool to even ask the question. Like trying to describe color to someone who has never had sight, the rules we live by, the very concept of time itself, may not apply beyond that invisible boundary. And yet, this mystery is also beautiful. The fact that we can even wonder, even formulate these questions, is a miracle in itself. Out of a terrifying pre-existence, out of entropy, chaos, or cold logic, came life, came thought, came minds capable of imagining what existed before time began. That, perhaps, is the most astonishing part of the story. We are part of a universe that may be ancient beyond comprehension or brief beyond belief, but we are aware. And in that awareness, we find meaning. Whether the cosmos before the Big Bang was a dying universe collapsing in on itself, a silent brain sliding through higher dimensions, or a timeless ocean of information and probability, one thing is clear, it's far stranger than we ever imagined. And perhaps, 